Aries. Hi, hope you're having a good week this week. Uh, this is your weekly reading from March the 14th to the 21st. Hope everyone's having a nice week this week. Thank you for all your love and support. I appreciate that. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, even comment. That'd be super, super awesome. And I'd be super, super thankful. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into your reading here a little bit, Aries. Um, also, if it doesn't resonate, check your moon and rising sign. I usually say that as well. Um, okay, it seems this week we're kind of... Um, not valuing ourselves. Sorry, there's a little bit of ash on my, <laughs> on my desk. I was like, from a candle. Anyways, um, seems like this week we're not really valuing ourselves. Um, I got my self-worth card um, in reverse here. So it kind of um, is this feeling of us kind of um, doubting ourselves. Um, it's crossed with the King of Swords here, so there might be an air sign that is causing you this doubt. Um, maybe this was an influence from a male or a father figure here um, that kind of put some ideas in your brain that weren't really yours about your worth. Um, this could have been an ex as well that was an air sign um, who really added you here to have the belief system that um, you're not worthy of something, um, which is not true at all. I mean, we're all worthy of shining and being bright and feeling good about ourselves. Um, also, this just might be you as well, like self, your self-talk this week. Um, maybe you putting these thoughts in into your head about your worth. Because um, the king here can be a bit cold, so maybe we're giving ourselves not enough credit here this week. Um, we're not really allowing ourselves to really blossom and shine. Um, maybe there was an event for you this week that made you feel down about yourself. Um, I'll see kind of what is making us feel this way uh, this week, Aries. Interesting. So for some of you, there might be a new job opportunity on the way here. Um, and it's funny because like you have this new job offer, but it's making you kind of feel not um, uh, good about yourself or value your skills. So maybe it, um, this is kind of a manifestation here where you're getting a job that you feel or this kind of financial stability here that you feel not worthy of, of deserving of. And you kind of put that negative self-talk in your brain. You're like, oh, like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know um, if I'm good enough for this job or this position. Um, that's just kind of the energy that I'm feeling with this like job or offer here. But I just kind of need you to know areas that you need to just um, realize that this job was offered to you for a reason. Um, it's coming in here for a reason because someone believes in you. Um, someone knows that you can do it. So just watch for this negative self-talk, um, feeling like you don't value whatever this kind of job um, is coming in rushing in for you. Because we have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is a great foundation, a great new start for you, um, which I'm so happy about. Uh, but just make sure we're celebrating our wins here, you know, just uh, sometimes I have a trouble of being like, okay, well, once you kind of something new, a new path opens up, the fear kind of just starts to trickle in our brains and, and um, kind of our negative kind of self-talk kind of takes over in a way of being like, oh, like, I don't know, the fear is kind of building here. <clears throat> You have the Emperor energy though, which is your energy, Aries, which is good, which means you're in control of this situation. Um, again, you're feeling this Emperor energy, you're feeling um, in control of your life and kind of the um, prosperity that's coming in here and you really need to be the Emperor this week. Um, realize your value, realize your self-worth, uh, self understand that you are the Emperor, right? Um, you're powerful, Aries, um, own it. You know, this week, especially with this new job coming in, own that. Feel like the emperor. Be like, no, like I, I deserve this. I have, I have, like I'm building. I, I get this kind of building energy. Of you're building up to something, and I think these just kind of like little trickles of building a career or building your kind of legacy here this week, Aries. Again, I see, I see that you see that vision, but I just kind of see that kind of negative self talk coming in the way just a little bit. Um, I don't feel like you are going to sabotage yourself in the situation i kind of have a feeling that more it's just kind of um we need to be really mindful of that this week and mindful of how we're um, communicating to ourselves we got the emperor and the empress wow wow, wow, wow. strong 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 energy here <clears throat> dynamic duo um so again, male, female, you could be feeling either emperor or you're feeling yourself as the empress. 
feeling abundant, um, feeling like life is opening up for you, that things just kind of come towards you. Um, for some of you, this new job can maybe lead you toward a divine partnership. Um, maybe you are working kind of with this empress here. Um, maybe you guys, maybe it's uh, two of you, you kind of really feel like you found your match. Um, Job-wise or job speaking, you kind of meet someone that you really work well with. For some of you, maybe this partnership is even romantic. I mean, who? Let's let's see, let's see, like what this kind of this emperor and empress is. Who they are? Who is this emperor and empress? This kind of divine match for Aries. That's powerful, powerful, powerful energy this week. All right, the four of pentacles. Let me go a bit. Um, you might be having to take some risks. Maybe you're taking some risks with um, this partnership because you got some letting go energy with the Emperor and the Empress. Um, so maybe some of you are um, got to take a, a bit of a risk financially or you're, or you're kind of seeing your future. Maybe some of you are entrepreneurs and you will kind of believe so strongly um, in what you're feeling and what you're creating for yourself that you have to take some money risks. Uh, maybe it's like even getting new classes. Maybe it's just um, taking some time so you can find like the right job for you. Um, but whatever it is, it kind of looks like it will be a good outcome. Obviously, um, to your own judgment here, I can't advise you what to do. Um, the cards can kind of advise, but again, this is a general reading. So if you feel it's the right move for a time to maybe make a leap or make a jump in career, um, maybe kind of loosen your grip on, on making money, because it seems like abundance is headed your way here, Aries. Um, this divine partnership, whatever it is, you're kind of going to be almost, you're going to be sitting on your throne here. Um, again, what I'm talking about. So again, just believe in yourself and believe that you can do it. Maybe there's some money issues here. Um that we're kind of scared of, um, scared of taking uh, chances, kind of taking risks. Uh, if you need to like manifest money, um, you could maybe do that as well. Like if, what I'm talking about is like, you always gotta think of money as coming in towards you. So it just seems like these new opportunities are on the way for you. Um, and the money is constantly flowing in and that's how we kind of manifest it that 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 money is kind of already ours um it's already ours to have um it's on its way to us right taking a risk that way instead of being like okay i don't know trusting the universe a little bit i'm guessing can i get more on this emperor and empress Yeah, it's just fear that, um, <clears throat> it's just fear about finances. Uh, again, like what I was saying before, um, I think kind of what the cards are kind of telling me here is we got to switch, we got to kind of let go um, of this fear and have a little strength in ourselves and have a little strength in our vision and kind of um, what we believe we're creating for ourselves here because there is some fear that you're going to, um, there's a financial situation here uh, where you're going to feel like you're going to feel like maybe you made the wrong mistake in a way, Aries, or you're kind of going to get nervous because you're like, maybe I'm doing something that I love. Um, maybe I'm doing, um, you know, I'm taking a chance over here, but then my stability is kind of uh, gone at that point. And that's like kind of like makes us a little bit scary or scared or makes us a little timid here. But it's just saying, understand you are the empress, you're the emperor, you're in control here, you make your whole world, um, you make it kind of for what it is. So if something feels right to you, I'd say go for it, especially if um, you're scared about money here, it looks like it's just kind of more fear taking over. Um, it's fear that you're kind of not going to feel like um, you can kind of create this um, stable uh, money for yourself or that it's already kind of on the way for you here. As we have like the two pentacles here reversed as well um, with the strength reverse. So there's just that fear of that financial collapse that we're sp going to be spending way too much money and not going to get the material gain back. Um, but again, like what I said with the emperor and empress, it seems like you're building towards something great here.
I just keep getting drawn to the Empress. Like, I'm just, like, looking at her, and I just see so much, like, power and energy in her. Um, I don't know, it's just, yeah, I just keep getting drawn to her. Just seeing, like, I just want to put it up to the camera. Just how much power she's in her power and like she's just calm and she's just kind of sitting there and just kind of waiting for everything to come towards her um, and she knows that this is all her she knows that um she built something great here right um she's abundant she knows that already and i fear i feel like you gotta know that as well all right what else do we have for aries this week Just not why suck. Okay, the devil kind of flipped over a little bit. I don't take it unless it kind of comes out in the read, but if I see it, usually for me it means it just paid note to it. So again, um, I'll reiterate again, like I feel like this whole read has kind of been the same energy. Um, we really need to walk away um, from the things that have held us back, from the fears, the thoughts, the ideas. Um, that have really kind of kept us down and kept us strained and not um, allowing us to kind of live life to the fullest here, to uh, follow what we love to do, the fear um, that, again, we're not good enough or, you know what I mean? It could be anything, it could be substances, whatever it is that's kind of keeping you down here. Um, we're kind of moving into a new chapter of our life here and I feel like we're moving into this um, financially kind of like independent um, kind of going connecting to our higher selves and valuing ourselves and becoming this emperor and empress and, and really feeling like we're in control of our lives because we also have the eight of cups here which means we're walking away from a situation and i believe this is just walking away from the old way of doing things and you realize this kind of old chapter in your life is not working out for you it's not what you want it's not what you're feeling um is right but those kind of old thoughts those thoughts that keep saying, hey, you're not good enough for this new start. You're not good enough to be, um, you know, super successful. You're not good enough to kind of um, be this um, person that everyone kind of looks up to here that's super powerful. We're walking away from that idea this week. We're walking away that we can't do that because um, we totally can because we're the emperor, remember? We're, or empress. All right, just playing some oracle cards for your situation this week for our Aries. <clears throat> All right, so our Moonology Oracle this week, Aries. I don't know why my head's red right there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> meditate and contemplate. Um, it's going to be important this week. Um, take the time to really, again, sit with our thoughts, um, contemplate where we're going. Um, what I was talking about, again, just being like thinking every thought that comes in, make sure we're processing it that we're not taking every thought as a fact, um, that we're like, okay, what is this? Is this like a logical approach to me thinking this or is this out of fear? Is this kind of um, something that I've kind of processed and learned about myself where something might be coming in or um, when I believe in myself, that fear kind of comes in. We really gotta like take each thought in this week and think about where it's actually coming from, if it's fear-based or if it's uh, reality-based. Because emotions are running high. You're gonna feel a lot of, um, I just kind of feel like it's this transition of like leaving old energy behind and kind of moving into a new cycle here. And that's obviously scary and that takes a lot of um, energy. And I, I kind of have almost this like purge energy where we're purging all of our old kind of um, limiting thoughts and all of our emotions this week, Aries, where we're just, so they might be coming to the surface, but just know it's kind of your body just purging them to get rid of them. Um, Cause you're not gonna need them in this new cycle here. I have two um, energy oracles too, so I'll read you the cornucopia, which is a great card to see. Kind of came out sideways, both cards kind of came out sideways, but I have a feeling this one is more upright this week. An abundance, harvest, and great blessings are waiting for you. You find that all you, uh, you will find all that you've wished for fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, just know what you've uh, done, that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy in this life are ready to harvest in some significant way. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now. Spirit is applauding all of your effort. They're with you. They see this hard work that you've done. 
Um, so don't not, um, yeah, hold your vision to know that's, that's on the way for you. And then we have the first chakra, Archangel Michael, reversed. Reversed. Um, when this card is reversed in this position, you may be facing some significant challenges or even a very difficult emotions. The energy in the first chakra may be blocked, revealing potential fears about your safety, feelings of insecurity, or even depression. This blocked energy can also sig signal financial worry or desperation. That's what we were talking about, kind of with the holding the value too tight, scared that money's not kind of going to flow to us. The issue of instability can shake you to your very core, and it's going to be important to get the energy moving freely through the chakra once again. Call upon Michael for assistance and visualize his light of power filling the area and being your greater sense of your own um, true strength and eternal stability. Meditate on the affirmation below and feel a sense of safety and balance return. This is the affirmation. My first chakra is open to its beautiful, healthy state. I am strong, stable, safe, and secure. The Archangel Michael guides and supports me always. You got this, Aries. Um, looks like you have a great life coming ahead of you. So. Hope you have a good week.